everyone! I hope y'all are having a good day so far. I just got home a little while ago and felt like filming something, so I thought I'd do a little random impromptu type vlog and just tell y'all about my day and where I went and what I did. So yeah, the first thing that I thought I'd vlog about, if we're going to call this a vlog anyways, is this tea that I got last night. Um, the Aussies breeder, most of you know I have Australian Shepherds and a rescue um, taller. Um, anyways, I'm really good friends with the Aussies breeder, and she was telling me about this tea, because we're both big tea drinkers, and it's by Harney and & Sons, and it's hot cinnamon spice, and when I was in Barnes & Noble's last night, because I couldn't find it anywhere at the grocery store or Target, I randomly saw this by their cafe, and I was like, oh, that's the tea she was telling me to get, so I got it last night. And had some this morning. I've already had two cups today of this. It is amazing. And it's kind of, it smells just like Red Hots if you like those. And, oh my gosh, it's like a big old cup of Red Hot. And they're really cool. They come in these little sachets like this. But if you have a Keurig, like my K-cup thing, you could sit it in that and still brew it in your Keurig. I just used my teapot this morning to make these. But they're really cool, they smell amazing, and the taste is just insane. It's like a really, really good, like, cinnamon spice tea, which is pretty much what this is. So, if you have a Barnes & Nobles near you, or if you just see this out somewhere, get this. It is amazing. It's so, so good. In the description, let's see what it says. It says, black tea with orange and sweet clove. And amazing. Go get you some tea. So, if you're wondering why I'm wearing these, these lovely little things. Well, I was fitted for these today because apparently my body is like attacking itself and itself rather and like my nerves and all sorts of fun things are not working properly so this is supposed to make me a little bit more comfortable and unfortunately I have to wear them on both wrists right now which really kind of sucks. And it kind of like hinders your mobility to do stuff, but it's supposed to help with pain and weakness, so we shall see. But I had to go get fitted for these today. What are these? These are MedSpec Wrist Laser Wrist Support. I don't know. My neurologist here was like, you go get these. And then we make more appointments for you, and then you get more tests. And yeah, it's fun being a guinea pig. Not. Not. But anyways... Since I had to go and get these, and I had to go to Walgreens to get some medicine um, without going into too much detail on what's going on, we'll just say it's autonomic nervous system related, and it, yeah, it sucks. I figured while I'm at Walgreens getting, you know, things I have to have, let's get some stuff and cheer ourselves up a little bit, and what is better for cheering yourself up than some nail polish? And since they're not painted right now, I'm going to paint these in a little bit. So I was kind of excited. They had the Revlon on sale. And it's some of my favorite. I found this one. I kind of had a fit. It's number 260, girly. And that's a reflection. Sorry, it might not show up well. But it's so pretty. It's just like purples, like the most light purple with tons and tons of multicolored sparkles. Can't open. And, yeah. Looks really, really pretty. So I can't wait to try this. I thought this would be a really fun accent color. And then I also got another glitter polish. This one I have been lusting over, and I've thought about it the last two times I've gone to Target and just didn't get it. And today, since it was on sale, I was like, yes, I'm going to get it. And I don't know if you can tell, but since the last time I went to Target, I had actually swatched it on my nail, and there's only one little sparkle left. But I knew I loved this one. This is in number 770 Heavenly. And it's kind of like a sheer polish with just hints of the most really pretty, almost like blue-tinged and cream-tinged sparkles. Really pretty. Normally I'd hold my hand the other way, but it's kind of hard to. So, yeah. Very pretty. I thought these were so nice. And then I got one solid opaque color, and this is in Rose, be Rose Beige. I thought this was a really nice neutral for springtime. It's just a really light pinkish beige color. And then I have heard about this next little handy dandy item on a few other reviews recently. This is from Rimmel. It's the Scandalized Waterproof Coal Liner. And this is in... What shade is this? 
Well, it's number 005 Nude. And I'd heard quite a few other people talking about this. And the reason I wanted to try this one, and I can't really swatch right now, guys. Sorry. Um, I'll try and swatch it on my finger. Yeah, there we go. Can you kind of see? The reason that I wanted to try this is because people were saying, since it's waterproof, this is a really, really good one to put on your waterline to kind of brighten your eyes without going the extreme of using a white pencil. Because I normally use NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is really white and really obvious. So I thought this would be a more muted way to kind of highlight your waterline without it being too much. So I'll try this out and I'll definitely let you know if I like it. And then the last things I picked up from Walgreens were some chapsticks. They're the limited edition ones, and they had them on sale. I've already opened one. This one was an orange cream burst. It's from their limited edition ice cream classics collection. And it tastes and smells just like an orange push pop. It is so, so good. If you like those, you need this in your life. It's delicious. And then they also have these two in cupcake batter and velvet cupcake. And, yeah, I thought those sounded amazing. I guess they're limited edition for Valentine's Day. But, yeah, if you can get your hands on these, Walgreens, my Walgreens, anyways, had them on sale. So, if you can find them, definitely pick them up. I think I paid a dollar for each of these. I think they were three for three. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what they were. And then the last, like, random things that I picked up today. I figured since I'm kind of kind of be home a good bit this week, I'm just letting my body kind of chill out and heal. Um, I thought it'd be good to have some movies to watch. I love Redbox. I'm kind of obsessed and I had a promo code for it. So I got a couple movies since I'm just going to be spending some time at home. So the first one I got was one I wanted to see a few months ago and just never got to. It's Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. It looks pretty funny. And then I got Madagascar 3 because I loved the other two so, so much. The first one... I think the second one was Escape from Africa, and this one is Europe's Most Wanted. I love the Madagascar movies. If y'all haven't seen them, you need to because they are fabulously funny and so cute. Then I also got Blue Lagoon, The Awakening, just because I really loved the original Blue Lagoon. I think it maybe had Brooke Shields in it. Could be wrong. It came out around the 80s or early 90s. I loved that movie so much, and I saw that there was a new one, so I was like, I have to watch this. Yay. And then the last one that I got, because I'm a bit of an Edgar Allan Poe freak, I love Poe's work. And um, this is a movie kind of like based around it. It's called The Raven. So it's sort of based on his poem, The Raven. So we'll see. I've never seen them before. So I thought that'd be kind of like fun way to spend movie day. Oh, and one last awesome thing I thought I'd show you. I've had this shirt for at least two years, but look, it's green day my absolute favorite band that I'd show y'all what I was wearing today since it kind of cheered me up a little bit. So yeah, that is my random, very random vlogish stuff today. I thought I'd just kind of catch all up to speed on where I've been and why you haven't seen quite as many videos out of me lately. I've just had a lot of health things going on. So I will try and film some more when I'm filling up to it, but understand that if I don't post a ton the next couple of weeks, I'm just not feeling great, guys. So, yeah, that's about it. I will see you on another video soon. I hope you all have a really great day. Bye.